Welcome to Pacific University Libraries. This video will teach you how to find sources using the library search box, the main search box on the Pacific University Libraries website, lib.pacific.edu. The library's collections include many print books in the library's catalog and other physical materials. Our collections also include many databases. Each database is a searchable collection of online materials such as articles, ebooks, streaming media, encyclopedias, or other types of sources. When you enter a search term into the library search box, you're searching the library's catalog and most of the library's databases at once. Additionally, you will also find sources that we don't own, but that you can get immediately or within a short period of time through Summit, our partnership with regional libraries or through interlibrary loan. One thing to note is that the library search box and each individual database interpret your search terms differently. So when searching for sources on your topic, it's useful to search the library search box and individual databases because you may find different sources even if you use the same search terms. Additionally, different individual databases have their own unique search features that help you find the unique types of sources they contain. So try searching both. There are also some subject specific databases that have ebooks in them, such as Access Medicine. Check the A to Z database list and use the subject drop down menu to select the databases recommended for your discipline. You can also visit the library subject guides to see if there is a subject guide for your topic and what databases have been recommended. Also, contact us anytime and we'll be happy to refer you to a database or help you with the search process. Let's get started with the library search box. Let's say that you'd like to learn more about the Kalapuya since you learned that Pacific University in Forest Grove sits on Kalapuya land. You can type your search term into the search box and click search. The first thing to note is the type of sources in your search results. You can filter to a specific type of source under resource type. For example, if you'd like to find a book about the Kalapuya, you could click the boxes next to print books. And meaning hard copy books that you can find on the shelves and eBooks. Then apply filters. Your search results would be updated to only show you print books and eBooks. You can clear or reset the filters on the top left. If you'd like to find scholarly articles from peer reviewed journals, on the Kalapuya, you can click the box next to peer review journals and apply filters. Your search results would be updated to only show you peer review journals about your topic. You can find articles published within a certain date range um, by typing in the date range under date, checking, checking the box and clicking apply filters. For example, if we wanted to see if there had been anything published recently about the topic, we could update our search results to, to, from, to 2015 to 2221. To ensure your search terms bring up search results on your topic, you can think of synonyms or words that have similar meaning. For example, the Kalapuyas could also be called Tualatin Kalapuyas or the Atvalati. To search for sources that have any or all of these terms, you could write or between your search terms. So we could write Kalapuya or Tualatin Kalapuya or Atfalati. And click search. We previously had about 350 search results with just Kalapuya and now we have 368 with these additional search terms. We can focus our search results by connecting our search terms with AND. So if you'd like to learn specifically about Indian boarding schools or boarding schools related to the Kalapuya, you could connect your search terms with and and put parentheses around the different sections. So we could write Kalapuya or Tualatin Kalapuya or Atfalati in parentheses and, and then in parentheses boarding school or Indian school or residential school and click search. This focused our search results. So now, um, now we have about 120. Each time that you do a search, look through the search results to see how closely the search results match your topic.
To do that, first look at the titles and the types of sources. One thing to note is that you're, if you're looking at a book title, the title might not look relevant, but might, there might be a chapter or a section that has the information about your topic, so it's useful to check inside the book. To see more about a source, click on the title. This article looks like it might be relevant. We will make it our own place, agriculture and added adaptation at the Grand Ronde Reservation, 1856 to 1887. Since it's an article, we can see the article's title, that it was published in the American Indian Quarterly in 1998. And we see that the American Indian Quarterly is a peer reviewed journal. If we can scroll down, we can see more information about the article, such as the author, or the subjects it's related to, which can be good ideas for additional search terms, and the description, usually the abstract or summary of the article. By reading the abstract, we can see whether this article might be on our topic. Well, it doesn't mention residential schools specifically in the abstract, but it would be good to check within the article since it looks like it might be related. Scrolling up, we can get the citation um, in certain formats such as, uh, such as MLA or APA. And we can also get the perma permanent link on this page. One thing to note is if you copy the URL that's in your web browser, this link will break and will not bring you back to the article. That's why you always want to find the permalink. And sometimes it's called bookmark, share link, or document URL when you're finding sources in databases. To access the article, click the full text links available under view it. If you ever have any issues accessing a source, contact us via the library, the help menu on the library's website, and we'll be happy to help you. After clicking the link, we're taken to the article in the database where it is located. We can look for the full text link, and then we can access it. Remember that you can search within documents using Control F on a PC or Command F on a Mac. This opens a search box so that you can see if the keywords you, you're looking for are mentioned, um, such as school or boarding school. We can easily find that this article does talk about um, boarding schools. We can look for the download options or save the article to our, our computer or rely on the permalink to bring us back to this article. If you see a result that we don't have access to, you'll be prompted to request it through Summit, our partnership with regional libraries, or through Interlibrary Loan through a service called Iliad. Either way, you follow the prompts to request the item. For example, ex excerpts from my life shows that we don't have it in a hard copy or online access. Um, click the request alternative access or request it through Summit. Um, to, and this, when we requested through interlibrary loan, and we'll log in with our PUNet ID and password. And we complete the interlibrary loan request form, which is already um, partially filled out. And I can click submit request. And then you'll receive a notification in your email when the item is ready for you to pick up if it's a hard copy item like a print book or to download if it's an online article. So to see the status of your interlibrary loan requests, um, go to um, my library accounts under borrow and then click Iliad account. Um, log in with your PUNA ID and password. And you can see um, all of your interlibrary loan requests, um, past and present. You can also go to um, your library account under my library accounts. And here is where you can see um, your current checkouts and any items you've requested through Summit. Remember, we're here to help you with your research, so contact us if you'd like help getting started or with any other questions you have along the way.